Yeah, look, coming to work's a funny one. I've never actually ever thought in recent times when work starts and when work stops. Um, so for me, um, that's a hard question because I love what I do. Um, the um, interaction that I get with everyone that I work with, um, both be it within Urban Habitats and being the group that supports Urban Habitats from a consulting point of view, subcontractors and clients, I generally really enjoy that. So it works, um, uh, um, yeah, I'm not sure when I'm working. So <laughs> that's an easy answer, I think. Yeah, working with the people at Urban Habitat, I think, is what is their edge over a lot of other companies. It's very much their um, relationship with us was very strong, the collaboration, the ability to work together on the concept and to realise that and be able to give them a lot of feedback and really feel that they were listening to what we needed to get the right outcome. Um, I think that really is a big point of difference for Urban Habitats. We really love the fact that we've got a, a great vibrant office space and culture and people within it that help us deliver on what our brand really is. Um, uh, similarly, the cultural situation in the office in terms of our staff in there is a little bit different to what goes on on site and there's a friendly rivalry within those two facets of our, of our business. But um, I think the bottom line for us is, is that the culture is a, a major part of what we are and what we've been able to achieve and having people that fit with our culture and who have, have come into our culture and genuinely enjoy working within it. That's a really important point to how we deliver things out to the public realm and how we're seen and perceived externally. So yeah, culture is a huge part of who we are. The um, carpenters and just the tradespeople in general were just simply amazing people. It was great being able to have Jock or Josh or Nick um, project manage but actually having interactions with um, the tradespeople as they were working on the jobs was really, really quite friendly. And it was also comforting to know that you had that relationship with these people and, and you'd only have it for a fleeting moment. It might be a couple of weeks at a time. I think at the end of the day, they were amazing from start to finish. Um, they sort of got what, very much from the start, what we were aiming to achieve and um, their attention to detail, they always, their communication was fantastic, always kept us in the loop on where the project was at. And uh, yeah, I think their, their team was fantastic, definitely. We spent a lot of time up front in the detail and, and fleshing through the design. They recommended a really good interior designer who came in and gave us help with finishes. Jock gave me one really good piece of advice. He said, put the lipstick on the areas you really want to matter. For us, that was, you know, the the reception area, the kitchen, dining, living space where most of our guests would, would come. We get so many compliments when people come over. Um, there's something about this space. It was actually a really, really good experience. I can't believe it.